Now if you want to change, if you want to delete more, obviously you have to have the, the three selected there. And I'm just going to, if it will let me, if I want to get rid of this bit. Drag that down, drag it down to the floor, just dealing with the vertices, it can get a bit nickety and awkward sometimes, you just need a bit of patience and um, trial and error. Let's go and click these, then press uh, press A, and that's the basic floor nav meshing. Now, what we need to do because the game doesn't instinctively nav mesh stairs, it just leaves them blank. It will add things like this. So, what we want to do is merge these. Unfortunately, that vertex is slightly under the floor. So we just want to raise it up so we can see it. Click, click, click. And now you want to merge. Do to do, do which one was it? There we go. Merge vertices or Q. And it'll come up like that. Then you just want to create a new uh, vertice triangle. You just if you have two selected two vertices let's say here and here like I did here so you got that one there and that one there and then control right click add new vertice and it automatically fill in the space as you can see that's already a, a lot tidier so what we want to do is click on these three press A and it will leave these two highlighted hopefully and click on the last vertice there Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. So as you click on the last vertice, press A again, and there you go, we've got a nav mesh there. Now you can go through and do this for all your uh, stairs that you may have included. It's very vital, it's very vital you do these stages because uh, the NPC won't go past this uh, point, for example. And that's not something you want, really. To do, just go and add those. And it's uh, quite very simple. So I'll just add those, press Q, select vertice, control, right click, control, left click, left click, A. That didn't work. Control left click, left click, left click. A, there we go. Left click, control left click, control left click. A, and there we have it. We now have a fully nav meshed uh, dungeon, which is free for you to place NPCs and the like. What, I've just, what, what, what I did, I'm leaving water and waterfalls and adding NPCs until the, the latter tutorials because it just um, makes sense because you don't want to add nav meshing and go back and add certain details and um, have to edit nav meshing because of some unruly error. Now I may have inadvertently deleted a piece of nav mesh here. It will happen sometimes. Don't worry about it. You just, as before, left click, left click. A. And maybe just add another vertice there. So. And now what you want to do once you've completed your nav meshing, you press this finalize current cells nav meshes 
Now we can test this in the creation kit. What we need to do is click on this sort of three uh, point button here called test nav mesh. It will come up with this list and you just want to choose an actor. It can be any actor. I suggest choosing a normal sort of NPC. So let's just uh, do do do. I think this is Nord. Is it Nord? Yeah, you can use the presets if you want. I'm just going to use Nord Mail preset. And press yes to all. And what you want to do is go through the dungeon. <coughs> it will come up with green lines if it's working and yellow lines if it's if there's something wrong. So what I'm going to do is just right click right click on your mouse at starting point then right click where you want to finish it as you can see there's an error usually it will show you where the error is it's here so what we want to do is just come out of that go back here and we want to see what this error is if the camera will let you get there Sometimes it just shows an error because uh, the nav mesh is below the ground. It's no, not any of real importance because the uh, NPC will navigate around it. But just for tutorial purposes, just raise it up a little bit. As you can see, there's no. Sometimes when you join nav meshes, you may inadvertently do an overlapping one. So you have here, here and here and maybe you'll make another triangle over there over to this one and you just want to delete that and redo it because that will cause issues now let's see if that's fixed the problem so I just want to press that and OK change actor move that out of the way Oop. Type in Nord Mail presets 10 OK there. Right click. We still seem to have an error. Not sure why it's doing this. It should work. It's uh, probably just playing up for a, a camera. Do 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 do. Just gonna try and fix this if I can. There we go. Sometimes if you have too many triangles in a certain area, it might give off uh, false positive readings. I mean, there's alternatively you can just go in game and test it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that nav mesh there, except that maybe I made the mistake of making the triangle a bit too big. Never mind. So, yes, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> let's see now if it probably won't work at that first start. I'm not sure why it's not working. It's, uh, probably just playing up for the camera because I know for a fact that it will work so I'm just going to press that, press that, just avoid the stairs because they're buggy yep see you see green line that's fine let's see if it work here green line green line let me guess this isn't going to work oh it works now look fantastic 
So uh, ideally the point is you should in theory be able to click at the start then click to the end of the jungle uh, jungle sorry dungeon and it should be fine exactly like that perfect and that is how perfect nav mesh works as you can see NPC can guide itself all the way through the dungeon to the end point with no issues whatsoever that's what you want that's what you need for nav meshing and yes so what I'm going to do is I'll up once I've uploaded this tutorial I'll um, upload this dungeon to the Skyrim Nexus database which will there there will be a link in the description of this video and um, you can either use it as always just to see what's going on um, use it as your own in your own mod or just just to explore next uh, tutorial I'm going to be adding um, water and a waterfall feature just to give it a bit more life so you just make sure you've uh, finalized the current cells come out of that then save sometimes it might crash the creation kit but it's it's still saved properly now I'm just going to turn the lights on as you may have noticed it's a lot darker and a, a lot more in detail now what I've done is I've added a ENB package which just enhances um, the graphics, uh, the textures, and whatnot. As you can see, it's a lot better. The EMB files you can easily find. Just go to the Skyrim forum in the search box. Uh, sorry, Skyrim database and in the search box. Uh, Skyrim Nexus database. Do excuse me. Uh, go to the search box and just type in ENB. E for Europe, N for November, B for Bravo. Anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial on nav meshing and hopefully you should be able to do it with no problems. If you do have any problems or requests, please just uh, post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Goodbye.